It was 3rd August 2007. After spending the night in Lal Baba Ashram, we started trekking in the morning at 7 a.m. Gomuk was 4 kilometers from Bhojwasa, which took us about 2 hours. Now we were able to see the Gomuk glacier. This was Gomuk glacier from where the river Ganga starts. The ice is melted to water and flows into the river. There is an open temple with the idol of Lord Shiva. People were doing worship there. We climbed up further to have a better view of the glacier. It was Gomuk glacier, and we were standing at 4,250 meters above the sea level. As per the scientists, the Gomuk glacier is 6 kilometers wide and 24 kilometers long. Here, ice is deposited during the winter and melted during the summer. As per the scientists, the glacier is moving 200 meters backward every year because of erosion. If this continues, then the glacier will finish in next few years. सुरेश्वरी भगवती गंगे देवी सुरेश्वरी भगवती गंगे त्रिभुवन तारिणी तरल तरंगे त्रिभुवन तारिणी तरल तरंगे शंकर मणि विहारिणी भीमे शंकर मणि विहारिणी भीमे मम मतिरास्त तब पद कमे मम मतिरास्त तब पद कमे there were many solid pieces of ice floating on the river it was so interesting to play with the ice bhagirathi sukh daini mat भागीरथी सुख दायिनी मात है स्तब जल महिमा निगम ख्यात है तब जल महिमा निगम ख्यात है न हम जाने तब महिमान न हम जाने तब महिमान 
वाहे कृपामये माम ज्ञानम वाहे कृपामये माम ज्ञानम हां हम सही पर जाएंगे देयर आर सम मोर इंटरेस्टिंग प्लेसेस लाइक तपोवन नंदनवन व्हिच आर 4 टू 6 किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम गोमुक but we could not go further because of time constraints The place was so mesmerizing. I wished to stay there for a few more days in Gomuk, but there were many constraints. We had to leave the place and come back to Gangotri. The views of the mountains were changing very frequently depending on the position of cloud and sunlight even the same place was looking very different in few minutes when the clouds were changing their positions sometimes we are not able to find the correct route and waiting for other people to come so that we could follow them however the return journey was easier because we are climbing down as gangotri is 1000 meters below gomuk Although we were extremely tired we still had to walk faster in order to reach Gangotri before the evening as there was some raining on the hills the river was flooded on the way the water was running over the bridge it was extremely difficult to cross the river through the high current of water however there were some volunteers who were holding a rope for others to help crossing the bridge Although we could cross the river our shoes were full of water and we had to walk with wet shoes slowly it became dark and the visibility reduced we had to struggle a lot to reach gangotri at about 7:30 in the evening trekking to gomuk was probably the greatest adventure in our life <laughs> 